Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, you know what? Um, winter is finally just hushing away and we are finally coming to spring and I can not wait. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces that I have been um, using um, whenever I am doing makeup, whether that's, whether it's for a video or for work and I thought I would share some of that um, those products with you and yeah just to have a chat so let's get in. okay so the first one I want to mention uh, they are not in any order whatsoever I literally just have them in front of me and I'm just getting them as and when um, so the first thing is and eye primer i always use eye primers because my eyelids are very oily and also it just helps the shadows um come out uh, give like a better pigment so you get like the full pigment of an of a color and also um they tend to stay on your eyes longer they don't crease yada 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 all of that jazz um so i usually use um the urban decay primer potion um but I rediscovered this one. So this is um, the Max Factor Miracle Prep Eyeshadow Primer. Um, half the price of uh, the Urban Decay one, but it's so, so good. Um, it does help with a lot of um, like keeping your eyeshadow um, in place. It is, let me just show you, it is completely, um, so you can't see, it, it won't cover up like any, um, any veins or anything but it's just a lovely lovely primer it is it does become quite tacky so it's beautiful to grip onto those eyeshadows and yeah give you a beautiful look so the next thing is um it's a bit of an odd one for me because i don't usually use this in this but for some reason i started using it and i thought why haven't i been using this before and it's this so if you've been um, following me for a while you will know that I don't usually wear eyeliner only because a I don't know how to use it I'm like I'm rubbish at it um, and secondly it doesn't really suit my eyes um, but I was literally just playing like sorting through my makeup and I thought hmm maybe I should put it on and see what it feels like and now I'm obsessed I do this on an everyday basis even for work so my zoom calls and everything I am putting this on who knew um i do have it on at the moment as well um i'm not a whiz at it i'm not an expert at it i don't I, i'm sure i still don't put it on properly but it's you know a step forward so um this is the maybelline eye studio lasting drama gel eyeliner 24 hours um it's such an old one it's i think one of like the cult's favorite ones uh, it does come with its own applicator uh, which is absolutely fabulous but i just use it with this one so this is the morphe b76 it's a very teeny tiny um brush which is really really good uh, if you want a really defined line or if you've got like don't have a lot of space like i do on my lid then you want a really really thin line then this is absolutely beautiful um yeah there's literally not a bad thing i can say about this the only thing is that it's difficult to travel with because you need to travel with a brush and this but if you've got one of these brushes anyway in your kit then you should then all you have to take is this so yeah uh, it is very black it stays in place it doesn't crease it doesn't flake it doesn't fade it's just brilliant and for people like me um, who don't usually wear um, eyeliners this is lovely okay so next next thing is a blush that i again have rediscovered i had this before and then i repurchased it actually no i placed an order with tart and they sent me this uh, like a freebie um and it is the amazonian clay 12 hour um blush in harmony i have this on my skin today as well it's a very very um like an everyday color if you can see it's like you see it's very very like peachy browny it suits all skin tones it's like you have it on it feels like you don't really have on a blush if that makes any sense um yeah it's really small it's really nice um the only thing is it doesn't really have a mirror i almost always feel like it should have a mirror that it feels like it should have a mirror that they forgot to put it in um but to be honest the product is so so nice that i don't really care about the mirror that much so yeah 
um, absolute faves. I'm using this on an everyday basis because it's just like a everyday flush of colour so it goes with a lot of different looks. Next thing is uh, along the same lines of like using the eyeliner because I never used to use this before but now I can't stop using it um, and it's this and it's the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation brush in 110 so 110 I'm sorry it's really gross and disgusting at the moment and it's covered in foundation I bloody you love this I don't know where it was all my life honestly I just don't understand I have been a sponge applicator person all my life I've never used brushes except for like my blush and, and my eyes um, but I've never I never thought I would use a, a brush for my for my uh, foundation and this is just brilliant like, it's so dense it's really soft um, it blends in like it blends any and every kind of foundation in minutes it is an absolute dream if you're wearing a full coverage which is like a um what do you call it like a really full coverage matte foundation it blends it beautifully um if you're using it even blends in like if you're putting on primer or even like your moisturizer on with this it's beautiful like i honestly don't understand why i didn't use this before it's so so nice um yeah I've, I've used it again today as well i use it every single day i even just use it even the days when i'm not using foundation and i'm just using concealer i just use this under my eyes like this with a concealer just tap it in it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant so fenty beauty brushes i do want to buy the um the powder one as well but i'm thinking about it i am thinking about it i'm not sure if i will but let's see Sticking on to the same category as the face, um, this is one that's been going around for so long and I've literally just, just discovered it. Honestly, it's it's actually quite embarrassing. Um, and it's this, so this is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, um, sorry, Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder um, in the colour Fairlight 10. So it's a lovely, lovely powder if you can see so the only thing is slightly messy i think that's why i hadn't used this before is because i find that loose powders can be quite messy and you can't just open it and wear it like it's difficult to travel with because it literally just goes everywhere and it's quite bulky um but i use it every day i've got on my skin at the moment as well um you know it doesn't give you dry patches it and with time it almost adapts to your skin it's really it's really good i have been using um the maybelline um fit uh, fit me the pan like the pressed powder but i haven't been using this and people are absolutely raving about this so i thought i would give this a try i do think there is a like you can't really get this in the uk as much i got it from amazon so which is why i was able to get it but people say like you the like maybe like boots and super drug they don't really stock this but as long as you can get it online from any website i don't really care um but i do i do really like this it's really really good it's an oldie but a goodie and um i again can't get enough of this um and this is my naked three palette now i don't have all of the naked palettes i know a lot of people have like, a collection going on i have a similar collection um of the smashbox ones the smashbox um eyeshadow i literally i think have all of them uh, even like the limited edition ones and the special admission ones and all of that jazz um but the uh, for some reason i don't know why um I didn't buy any more of these. Um, I did want to, but then when given the choice, I went towards Smashbox. I don't understand why. Anyway, um, yeah, so the Naked 3 palette, um, it's very well used. Some of them are quite, as you can see, butchered um, over there. I have this on my eyes today as well. Um, can't go wrong with this. Um, I actually took this on my holiday as well. Um, well, feels like a distant memory literally I think two years ago um, and it's quite slim and you can just put it in anywhere and even that the brush that it comes with is quite useful um, it's not the best but it does the job to be honest like for a quick eye uh, and you can do like all sorts of eyes so you can do a smoky eye you can do a day eye you can do like a glittery eye um, it's literally all all you will need um, for a night out for a holiday and it's absolutely beautiful I love it absolutely love it now coming on to the lips um is 
my absolute favorite at the moment it has been for a while i don't understand why i haven't mentioned it. i think maybe i had mentioned it uh, i'm not sure so um i think it's a co it's cross between the two favorites in one product so this is this one um the charlotte tilbury's matte revolution um matte revolution lipsticks they are just beautiful um i do have a few i may do like a video on them separately just showing you swatches and stuff but i'll just put a pin in that we'll get back to that maybe maybe i won't i'm not sure um but the color i'm wearing today um is a recent favorite um from the from the matte collection line the only problem is that i think it's i think it's not there anymore like i don't think they she sells it anymore um so the color i have on is this one and this is called mrs kisses so it's like a really beautiful brown peachy brown color that i've got at the moment i'm wearing it with a lip pencil but can i just show you the the bullet of this lipstick it's so beautiful i haven't seen anything like it so it has 3d lips on it can you see how beautiful is that how does she do that it's just brilliant um so the color yeah so the color definitely i love this color the finish of it and the other color that i have used so much that i literally ran out and i <clears throat> bought a new one so the new one's in my um drawer and this is called amazing grace it's this one whenever i wear this people always ask me um even the people who don't really wear lipsticks or don't really wear a lot of makeup they have said what do you have on your lips it's really nice it's this um they have changed the name to this so it used to be amazing grace it is now amazing pink um either way it's beautiful this is what it looks like i usually wear this quite often um like on an everyday basis even for like work and video calls it's a very my lips but better lipstick if you want to make if you didn't if you want to take it up a notch then just line your lips and then use it then uh it stays on your lips for a very long time it's yeah it's just beautiful it literally is beautiful and there's nothing else i can say the last thing i want to mention are of course perfumes is anyone surprised by now i don't think so um i've got two this time so i've got these two so this is the coach i want to say i'm really bad at this which one is this this is the coach the coach floral something i'll put it here somewhere i don't remember the name of it um and this one is the dolce and gabbana the only one too so this is the second one um which is why it has like the dark red um dark red bottle and this one obviously is the coach one both of them are not very similar but they are really 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 good this one is a bit more of like a nighttime dinner time perfume this one's definitely a daytime one i use this on a regular basis this on and off only because like i really it's so beautiful dark like red and gold it's absolutely beautiful um i love both of them uh this one is a bit musky yeah it's definitely like a it's more sophisticated i would say and this one is like very everyday wear it's very zesty so you can definitely wear this and um yeah i absolutely love both of them and those were all of my favorites for since a few months i would say i hope you guys like this please give this a big big thumbs up please do subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye